Hello everyone, I hope you're all okay. So, it is officially the start of Space Timber. And I thought I would do a little bit of Space Page. Um, so, in case you don't know, this is Johanna Basford's Small Victories. And we're going to do one of these. Um, I'm only going to do one of the circles and I am thinking this one. Um, the reason I wanted to do that is because I got some new pencils today. And that is the Eversart London pencils. So I've been looking at these for a while. Um, tempted to get them a few times. But I don't need more pencils. Most definitely you do not need more pencils. But, um, again, they popped up on my Amazon last night. And they had a really, really good deal on them. Um, let me just pop the swatch chart down so you can have a look at that. It comes with its own swatch chart. Um, no, good paper. They have very, very bright colours. Very bright. Um, I've only swatched them and you can't tell that much about a pencil. Just by swatching them, which is why I want to just do a little, a little motif in here today. So, I am just checking my Amazon to see how much they were. If we want to load. Um, 27.99. I don't think I paid 27.99. I'm sure it was closer to 22. No, it was. Okay, it was 27.99 um, for a set of 130 pencils, which I don't think is bad. Uh, but they are normally... Of course, now I've clicked off it. Uh, normally 69.99. So, yeah, 60% off. So I thought, well, you know, for that, for 130 pencils, I'll grab them and, you know, give them a try. And the case for Kimmon is lovely. Uh, you can see really, really bright colours. So, yeah, I thought we would give them a try on a space page. So I'm just going to pop my swatch chart up there and we will be zooming in. So. Yeah, I think we could do the one with the little alien shit. So let's zoom us in. There you go. Hopefully that is okay for everyone. So, what are we going to do? I need, to, I need to sharpen it because we still have the factory kind of blunt, um, yeah, <laughs> bluntness on them. And um, I think I'm going to do lime green. So let's go and find that. Sorry, the pencil case is trying to escape. So, these are the pencils. They've got a really pretty holographic three bands there. They've got the colour name and a number. And then they say Eversa London. They are quite a chunky pencil. They are quite thick. And they just come with this kind of blunt, blunt edge for shipping. 
So, whilst watching, they are quite soft. Oh, well, they're, I'd say they're pre pre pretty soft. Pretty soft. Um, if I had to compare them to something, I would say maybe art teasers. So, you can get a relatively nice point from them. And, yeah, I think I'm just going to do... You know, with the kind of beam coming out of the spaceship in the Lion King. Um, so yeah, if they feel nice, they're slow grumbly. I wouldn't pay £70 for them. Uh, you know, 28 quid, yeah, definitely, especially since they come with the cakes. Um, and then we do the bit because that's the source of the light. So, I'm just gonna do this, you know, quite simply. I'm not, um, yeah, I don't want to spend too long. I think I will do a bit of shading. So now I'm going to go in with the pistachio green. Again, I need to give it a sharpen because, yeah, I do not want the colour of it on the factory, fact, factory settings, so to say. And I just use, oh god, that's just really zoomed in, isn't it? Use Faber Castell. Hill sharpeners, I find they fit every single pencil I have, uh, which is good. So now we're just going to add in a bit of this dark again, kind of on the side beams, just underneath. And I can't see how it looks on camera because the um, holder that holds my iPad kind of needs to go right into the center. And if I have my page centered, you can't see it. Sorry, let me just move a little bit. Yeah, okay, you can kind of see what's going on there. Okay, so that's going to be a beam of light. Now, what colour do we want the spaceship? Let's have a look. Hmm. None of those ones. Um, you can see from the shots they are very waxy pencils. You can see from the shine they give. Let's, I'm tempted to go for turquoise and deep turquoise. I think that would make a cool looking spaceship. Grab our pencils, give them a sharpen. Yeah, I shouldn't should have sharpened before. I came on camera, but I didn't. Because no one has time for that. Okay, so Turco Spaceship. Is that I think that's a window, so I think we'll do that in a light yellow or something. So, you know, like I said, I am just going to do this really simply. But, yeah, they do feel nice. Like I said, I think if I had to compare them to something, I would say Artesas, but 
I feel maybe a bit nicer. I don't know. I haven't used Arteza's in a very, very long time. Um, in fact, I've actually now taken them out of the pencil case they were in. And just put them in like a, a zip, zip wallet one. Um, like in one of these. Uh, to so make make some room for you know other pencil sets that I use more often. Sorry, I want to like um I lean my head in and I can't otherwise I'm gonna hit my camera. <laughs> but I am struggling to see from this far away. You can definitely see better than I am on this, but it's fine. Um, so yeah, we're just doing this really simply. It's gone 10 o'clock at night, I think, at the moment. Um, and I kind of just realised, like, oh, it's September. Huh. That means it's space timber. I was like, oh, it's space timber. I'm a host. I should probably, you know, maybe do something for that. <laughs> um, so, yeah. That is kind of how my memory is. I kind of want, I want a bit darker, I think. I want a little bit more shadow. Um, hmm. Maybe blue emerald. Where is it there? I said this is my very first time actually colouring with these. Can I spot way too far? You? Yes, you. Uh, yeah, it's my first time using these pencils. So I I don't know where they are in the case or anything at all. I know nothing. <laughs> I know nothing. <gasps> Uh, isn't that true? So now I'm just going to go over the blue emerald and just kind of put this on the edge. As you can see, they are kind of, kind of crumbly, but, you know, it's manageable. Um, I am applying quite hard pressure for this at the moment. Um... Mm, nothing's broken on me so far, which is always a good thing. Now I'm going to go back in with the turquoise and just kind of go over everything. Heavy pressure. While swatching them, some of them were a little bit scratchy. Uh, but you know that could very easily sorry i need to move this a little bit because i oh no i'm off camera aren't i okay maybe if i do that then i can just watch myself color in the thing sorry i can just try to get this shadow a little bit a little bit darker I'll do. Sorry for moving around constantly. Now, 
uh, what are they? Asteroids? Meteors? I mean, they usually be grey, but I don't know if I want to do grey. It's kind of boring. Decisions, decisions. Hmm. Sorry, I am just thinking. What about maybe dark steel blue? Let's do that. Which is this one? Dark steel blue. Again, need to give it a quick sharpen. Um, I'm not gonna try and shade. But we'll do the moon asteroid in that car. And then I think we'll do the dots, you know, the spots, or whatever they are on it. In a silver gel pen. Well, we've got those like tails. I feel like they should have, I don't know, some light to it. So maybe I should have done these like they're kind of on fire. But a bit late for that now. Mm, let's dive into our gel pen things and see if we can find my hotel draw palette. So, uh, yeah, there it is. So Now, with stars, of course, we are going to do in a gold gel pen. Because why wouldn't you? Now, what do we want to do for our tails? I'm thinking... Maybe, hmm, I'm thinking lemon and sunflower yellow, but I don't know if I want to add pumpkin in. It's not going to be a very big area, so I'm not too sure. See, this is what takes me so long when it comes to colouring pages. It's just trying to decide what colours I want to use. So, let's get these in sharpen. And yes, I am regretting my decision to not sharpen as I was watching. Most definitely. But the thought of swatching a hundred swatching no sharpening a hundred and thirty pencils in one go was giving me the jitters. So we've got the lemon yellow and the daffodil lemon. That's not the colours I said, isn't it? I didn't want daffodil, I wanted lemon. And sunflower. Okay, let's sharpen again. 
Oh dear, I swear, I swear if I had a brain, I would be dangerous. And I guess we'll just use the sunflower for a little light, a little light in the window. So I'm just going to kind of... Maybe do that, maybe put a little bit of a glow around it, kind of, maybe, slightly. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing. But I just feel like if I needed some sort of, I don't know, something to them, I guess. Sunflower and just do a little bit. So, what has everyone been up to this weekend? Um, now we're back to the lemon. I'm just gonna kind of maybe expand this a little bit more. Um, as I say, yeah, Sunday, tonight, today, uh, 1st of September. I have a few ideas. Of space time videos I would like to do. Um, this, obviously this one. Um, I would like to do my buddy colour in the Lost Forest. I think it has a colour along. Um, do I want I'm kind of tempted to just go in with like a black paint pen. Would that be lazy? Ooh, sorry, I just hit you guys. What do you think? Black paint pen? I think that might look quite good. Um, it will provide some nice contrast, won't it? If I do a black paint pen in it, I'm going to have to do black paint pen in all of them. Do I want to do that? Hmm. Let's see if I can hear. I have a black paint pen here. Okay, we're just going to do it. We're just going to do it. Yeah. So this is just a truly art, Ooh, there we go, acrylic paint pen and the extra fine tip, giving it a really, really, really good shake up, um, yeah, so excuse the noise, she says five minutes after she's been shaken. Okay, so let's go. Trying to see what I am doing. So. No, I'm just gonna color with fusions. Are these your actual stars? Um, but those other ones, I think we'll just kind of, you know, pop in. I swear, like, one eye is trying to unfocus. And it's making this really difficult. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so, do these Ebazar pencils? I would recommend them if you are looking for, you know, a budget pencil. They are, uh, you know, I'd, I'd say they're soft. Um, they're a little bit crumbly. But, you know, they're, they're no worse than, you know, others, really. Um, I would not pay full price for them. Like, I, yeah, don't, don't pay 70 quid for them. Um... If you're going to spend that much, I would get, I don't know, maybe the Artex or something. It's uh, less than 70 quid, I think. So we're probably going to go over the um, acrylic pen a little bit with the yellows again. So there's not quite so much a stark line. It probably would have made sense if I had done the background first, but I have not. As you can see, I cannot stay in the lines, but it's fine. More ink flow in here. So I keep talking about something and then I completely forget what I am talking about. I know I'm meant to be talking about the pencils, aren't I? I've just completely forgotten what I said. Um yeah, I would recommend them for twenty seven quid. Definitely. Seventy quid, no. You can get better about this. The brilliant if you like, you know, really bright colours. Um there's you know, a lot of bright 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 colours in there. Um Especially the greens, there's not much in the way of, you know, your more kind of neutral, earthy type greens. Which is quite common, to be honest, in budget pencils. Um... But if you like using your really, you know, bright greens, then, you know, they're perfect. You get a couple kind of skin tony type ones. Um, definitely not the best. Um, for skin tones, budget wise i will always recommend the crayola the colors of the world um you cannot go wrong with them yeah there's a little bit of a learning curve with them because they are quite hard but you just need to layer them and they're fantastic I would say it's kind of the most comprehensive um, skin tone palette you can get, really. Um, it's not perfect. If they added in some more kind of shading colours, like some purples, 
blues and maybe some grays, then yeah, they would be really, really good. Okay. So you can probably see far better than me. Right, I think I've made a bit of a mess here. I've got the white specks all over the place and all sorts going on there, but that's fine. So while we wait for that pink pen to dry, we will go in with the gold and do the stars. So again, I'm just using a Pentel Dual Metallic and just gold. This, <clears throat> oh god, excuse me. Uh, this gel pen is nearly dead. It has not got much ink left in it. Uh, I do have a new one though. But I am kind of very much trying to just use this until it completely dies up. Die, dies up? <laughs> Dries. Ugh. Goodness, English is so difficult, guys. So difficult. You wouldn't think it's my, you know, my first language, would you? Okay, so now we're going to go back in with the daffodil. And we're just going to see if this works. Maybe not really. That's weird. Okay, that doesn't work. So let's just forget about that. Um, but yeah, basically that is what we've done using my new Eversar pencils. Um, yeah, they work nice. The you know, I'm not, they're not like the best thing ever or anything like that. But if you are looking for a budget set, um, especially, you know, as for now, currently under £30, it's um, a back to school offer kind of thing that you have on Amazon. Um, yeah, you definitely can't go wrong for under 30 quid. I wouldn't, I wouldn't touch them at 70 I'll be honest, I think that's far too much. Um, but 30 quid, considering they come in a nice case as well, which, you know, you probably pay about £15 for a case. But yeah. So, I <laughs> hope you've um, enjoyed this video, maybe. I don't know. Um, yeah. Um, if you can like, comment, and subscribe, that would be awesome. And let me know what other spacey type pages you would like to see this month. I do have a couple of plans. But if there is anything in particular, then just let me know and I'll see what I can do. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye.